get down and lay down. I just walked the rap game with a stick, they better stay they down. Better stay I remember down. I was on my dick, they wasn't they all wrong. Wasn't now they see me up up on my shit, they can't say us out. Cool bitches cheering like I just yeah, scored yeah. a touchdown. I just ordered 50, they was gone before they touched down. On top of my city, when they see me, they like up oh, now. Coming for that rolling when I. What's up, y'all? One nasty rally back with another video. And today, I'm gonna show y'all how I watch Pablo, aka the Charger. I'm gonna show y'all all my products. What it do? One nasty rally here back with another video. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to watch Pablo. So I done got a lot of questions on how I detail my cars, how my cars come out so clean. Like, basically all the stuff I do when it comes to cleaning my car. And most people don't take the time out their day to do what I would do. Just because um, they just don't know the steps, basically. So I'm going to just give y'all a couple of detailing tips. And um, show y'all, basically. So, first thing when it comes to detailing is not just the outside. That's what people have a misunderstanding. Like, people who take their car to the car wash, yeah, y'all got to chill. That's not washing your car. That's not taking care of your car, I should say. That's not at all. See, when you go to a car wash, you're basically paying, or for those of you who have memberships, just getting your car scratched for free. Like, who does that? Like, who wants to do that? Especially on cars that have color where you can see scratches, like, physically see them. Like, come on now. See, going to a car wash, they don't clean those um, brushes and everything. They don't at all. I don't care what they tell y'all. The best time to go to a car wash is when it's, like, brand new. And that's only if you the first car, because every car after that is just going to get dirtier and dirtier. So I don't recommend going to the car wash at all. None of my cars have been through the car wash. None of these cars in the driveway have been through the car wash. So I'm going to just go ahead and give you some tips before I actually wash it. So number one, your fender wheel. And it's like something that most people don't do, but you are supposed to wash your fender wheels. Just look at that. Look at all that. The thing about Dodge is they got carpeted fender wheels, so it's kind of hard to clean. But most people have like an undercoat, like on uh, Ronald Line, which makes it easier. You're supposed to clean those. You wouldn't have a clean car if you didn't clean those, which is why I'm recording this video today to show y'all. Number two, door jams, trunk jams, hood jams. You're supposed to clean all of that. All of that's supposed to be taken care of, even, un like, even under here. You're, you're supposed to clean all of that. That's just, you know, if you want to, like, if you really want your car detailed, that's what you would do. Clean your door jams, door seals, all that. Trunk. You're supposed to get on all of that. See, my car, my cars are dirty. But I always take care of those when I clean. You're supposed to take care of all of that. Because it's not really, like, cleaning your entire car if you don't. I mean, come on now. Hold on. Let me get the same focus. Because it is bright outside. All right. My fault. Technical difficult. But, yeah, when you, like, when you're washing your car, you're supposed to get under all of that. You're supposed to take care of all of that. Or it wouldn't really be detailing your car. It would be just like you going through a car wash. And stuff like that rust out when it's not taken care of. So it's best to take care of it. Stuff like that rust out when you don't take care of it. So it's best to take care of it. Oh, yeah. Always get on here, too. Always get on here. But, yeah. That's just a few quick details. Like, quick tips on how to wash your car. Um, let me see. What else can I tell you? Uh, I always start at the top because if you wash the side of your car first and rinse it down, when you wash the top, you're just rinsing the dirt back down on what you already wash. So start at the top. I always start with my rims because they are they already at the bottom. So it's like 
you get them out the way and clean them, them are to be drying while you're washing your car. Start at the top and work your way down. And when you're washing, wash down. Don't wash to the side, don't wash up, wash it down. Now, as far as products go, I use a lot of them, to be honest. Like you can see in the thumbnail, yeah, I use a lot of them. So, we got a wheel cleaner. We got a wheel cleaner. This is for chrome rooms. I ain't got chrome rooms, but this is for my like, 300, which I will show y'all soon. I use that. A wheel brush. Um, I got a bunch of different tire signs, but my favorite tire sign is Meguiar's Hot Shine, because it lasts. Of course, I use Meguiar's soap, gold class, black polish when I had my black car. Rain necks, so when it rains, the water just slides right up your window. Which I recommend all of these products. I'm not sponsored, but I recommend all of these when it comes to washing the car. Goo gone to get rid of them stuck, like stuck on grime and stuff like that. Mother's instant detailer. When you don't, you know what I'm saying. Wash, actually wash your car. Like when you just need to, like, like if you had a car meet, you just need to wipe it down. Yeah. Turtle wax tire shine. See, I got a bunch of different tire shines that I use. Invisible glass. For those of you who don't use shampoo for your car, I recommend using this. Use a scrub on, scrub off application. We got. I took the label off the bottom. But Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner. Basically, when you spray it on, it turns brown. That's how you know it's ready to come off. Same thing with Diablo wheel cleaner. More tire sign. Yeah. I, I'm a detailer, so I gotta have all this stuff. I just ceramic waxed my car. And y'all gonna see in the video because it's the water just gonna run right off my car. I definitely recommend this. Although when you do apply it, Read the instructions. Don't be like me. Don't put it on like a conventional wax because it's not going to work. Meguiar's Supreme Shine. Turtle Wax Ice and Seal. Shine. I got a whole bunch of uh, I just use these to wipe down the interior. I mean, even I use my, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, to spray most of the time. Like, in the hard to leave places like air conditioning events, that's what I use. A natural shine and protecting West Coast Customs ex ex exterior detail. Yeah, I use I use stuff like that too. When I um scent bomb to get like the scents, like scents that you don't want in your car. Black polish. Uh, I would use black cars. I recommend that one for real, honestly. I mean, some more stuff in here like paint, more exterior details, but they are like. They are the same thing. Now, when it comes to applying tire shine, I use these right here. They make it way easier. Like, you, like when you spray tire shine on the tire, more than likely you're gonna get it on your rim. And you just defeated your, just defeated the purpose of working hard on cleaning your car. The, I say buy multiple because you can get them for like two for a dollar. Like you can get them from Walmart. You can get them from Dollar General, actually. I just recommend using them. I also use two buckets with a built-in um, dirt trap on grip guard for what most people know. Two bucket method is the best way to keep you from putting dirt back on your car. It's, it's very important because that's how you cause scratches. Also have different um, washing mitts for different purposes. Like I use this to clean between the rims and tires because it has these little microfiber things on it. I use this on the paint when I'm actually washing the car. And this bucket, I, I normally use this bucket with a grip guard, but I'm just, I'm gonna just use these two for today. And a new product that I just picked up, a pressure washer. With, with, with a foam cannon. I just, I took the foam cannon off cause I gotta put the soap back in it. So, you know, I'm I'm learning like y'all are. I've never used a phone candle before. Yes, I have. I'm lying. 
I've never used one with like a lot of PSI to it. I should say, that's a better way to put it. Cause I've always used this thing right here or a regular hose when I just didn't want to waste all that soap. This works just like a foam cannon, but a foam cannon covers your entire, like entire car. Like my car, like the soap is going to be like my paint on my car basically. But yeah. Alright, so I don't really know how I'm gonna hold the camera. And pressure wash. I use the pressure wash. But I'm gonna make this work. I'm, I'm gonna figure out a way. So uh let me see. You wash your car, I would lift your windshield wiper place up because you gotta wash in here too. You know what I'm saying? Like so I'm learning just like y'all. I ain't never used like a high power pressure washer, but I'm gonna make this work for y'all. Let me go get the uh, soap real quick. So to answer questions that haven't been asked yet, that I know are gonna come, especially when I put this video out, what is the purpose of a pressure washer? Let me put this down real quick. A pressure washer has more power to it, so it's much more conventional. Then the regular hose. Watch this. Still a little soap in here. But right now I'm just gonna rinse the car down. And this is a part of having your car wet. See how the water just drips down from it? Yeah. Y'all should definitely wash your car. I have a video of me waxing. But right now, I'm gonna rinse it. Watching for y'all. Now, I'm finna show y'all the best part about having a uh, pressure washer. So now that I got the whole car covered with soap, you let the contaminants come off the paint with the pressure washer. Then you rinse all this off. Get your bucket, fill it with water, fill it with the soap that you use, and then use your mitt. So let me set everything up and I'm gonna get back with y'all. So the soap is washing the contaminants down. But I need to catch it while it's still wet, because if it dries, and that's how you get water spots on cars that aren't waxed. So I'm trying to show y'all the right way to do it, so you can do it yourself. So like I said, I always start with my rim strips, my wheels and tires. Now I have a rim and tire degreaser. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to hand wash it. And you get all, like, all in the cracks and crevices of your room. Right? And make sure you do the rim first. So don't finish like the next part that you gotta do. It's important. Like I stressed in the beginning. So, like I said before, you always wanna get under those fender wheels. All under them. Cause you're not having, you're not, you're not gonna have a clean car unless you clean everything. Now, once you wash your rims and under your fender wheels, rinse them and focus on your actual paintwork. 
Now my soap is dry, so all I gotta do is rinse it and do the traditional hand and bucket method. So now that I rinse the car down and rinse the wheels off, when I wash my car, I start from the top. Cause starting in the other place, like it would just defeat the purpose of you washing your entire car. Cause if I would've started at the bottom, right? I started at the bottom and rinse it. And guess what I still gotta wash? The top. And so when I wash the top, all the dirt that's coming off the top of the car, it's just gonna end up on the part that you already washed. Which means you're working twice as hard for the same outcome. And it ain't gotta be like that if you do the steps. If you do the steps the right way the first time, then you're not gonna have to worry about none of that. So as you can see, I'm going the straight line, keeping my same pattern and going down the same, I'm going down the same side. And I like to switch hands while I'm doing this, but obviously I'm recording with this hand. And I'm still using my phone until I get my camera. So I'm just gonna make do. Hold on, let me switch real quick. Also, like I said before, have your two buckets. Have your wash bucket and your rinse bucket. I got both of them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it for y'all. You got your wash bucket and your rinse bucket. When you get done washing, you put this in the rinse bucket, scrape it against that grit guard on the bottom. Then you can start back washing. So I'm gonna wash the side of the car and start it back up. So the whole, so the whole car, this side, the left side has been washed. And yeah, some of those spots look dry, but that's only because it's, it's blazing hot outside. And I'm doing this for y'all. So now all I gotta do is rinse it. And my PSI is not that high, so it's not damaging the paint. Since I washed this side for y'all, I'm not gonna show y'all me washing the other side because it's the same process. So the next time you see it, I'll be drying it. Now you gotta dry it off the sun. Yeah. See, now that I done rinsed everything, by the way, let me show y'all. I rinsed the entire car, got all the soap off, and I'm drying it, dry from the top. So I'm not gonna show the whole process of you drying it, because the same way you wash it, the same way you dry it. Keep the same pattern going, the same line, so you don't induce more scratches on your paint. Because then you have to get a buff to get the um, scratches up, swirl marks, which is why you shouldn't go to a car wash because that's how you get swirl marks. So I'm going to dry the car. I'm going to show you all the after product. And then everything I told you all in the beginning as far as door jams, fuel caps, stuff like that. I'm going to 
show y'all how to draw those. So now the whole car is dry, and the only thing I gotta draw is the rims. But you can see how it turned out. Also, I don't know if I sold this or not. When I washed the back of my car, I would take the tag off so you can get behind it because that catches a lot of dirt too. So I'm gonna draw the rims. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the inside, door jams, trunk jams, hood jams, all that good stuff. This is what I meant by cleaning your door jams and cleaning under your hood. You gotta take care of all of this. Or you just defeated the purpose of washing your car. And saying it's really clean. Entire thing. It takes time, but you'll thank yourself in the long run because you don't want your car to rust out. With all that water that gets trapped under there, all it's gonna do cause it to get rested up and you're gonna be paying more money to replace it when you could have just took 15 minutes maybe not even 15 minutes it just depends on what type of car you got you could have took i say about 15 minutes because i i i go to extra mile about 15 minutes to just take care of stuff I'm talking about take care of everything. It's worth it. Trust me. One lot of y'all. Get everything. Under here too. And I just put this spoiler on. I gotta get the rest of this glue off. But I just put that spoiler on. So it's still some glue under there. And I gotta wax my spoiler. Yeah. You take care of all of this. Get in here. It'll be worth it in the long run. I promise you. So not everything's dry. Just about. I'm not gonna show y'all me cleaning me, like all the door jams and everything because once you get a sense of how to do things, it should all kick in. It should all make sense. So when I get done drawing all of this. I'm gonna show y'all what I wipe my interior down with. How I clean between, like clean, boo -boo. clean between my AC and everything. Oh, by the way, you are supposed to get all of this too. I'm gonna show y'all that. Under, on the side, all of that. Side skirt, everything. You gotta take care of all of that. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I do my interior once I get done with all of this. So, so I dried off the rooms. I cleaned all up under the hood, engine bay, trunk jam, door jam. Inside, I just ain't vacuumed or nothing yet. Also, I'm gonna show y'all because I can show you better than I can tell you why you're supposed to clean your trunk door. So look, you gotta clean all of this. Like you can't have your trunk, I mean your own, um, Fuel cap, looking like that, because, see my car been in the shop, so I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Full detailing, I just started like 
getting everything did. I had to clean all that surface dirt off, dirt off first. But you don't want nothing bad getting into your fuel tank because you're not going to want to replace a fuel pump, especially not on no charger. I know for a fact they like especially high just because all chargers are performance cars. So make sure you get all in there. All in there. Your best bet, see, I don't have them right now because the store I usually get them from, they out of stock with them. But it's to get a detailing brush. And you can get all in those cracks and crevices that, you know, your hand can't reach. But luckily, I, I was able to get all of it. So, yeah, make sure you take care of all of that under the tank, too. So, because I've already cleaned my interior multiple times already within the past, what, two weeks I got my car back, I don't have to, like, put a protection or nothing on it. So, basically, all I'm going to do, well, this is a protective, but all I'm going to do is shine it because I've already aggressively cleaned my entire interior, exterior, too. So, yeah, all you got to do Get your rag. Spray this. Now, normally you can spray. Just spray the areas. But you spray it on the towel. It works just the same. And just clean all of this. All of this. Try not to get your screen. That's not, this not the type of stuff you're going to use on your screen. I'm talking about get all of this. And then what I like to do. See, it's kind of hard doing it. And holding the camera at the same time. I'm going to give me a head mount. Right on your rack. Get the steering wheel too. Get this entire thing. See that sign? Make sure you get your cup holders too. Pull this back. Pull this back. Wipe all this down. And once you wipe all that down, see, I got these custom cup holders in, so I can't just wipe it on there. So I got my towel doused in the stuff, and I just clean it. Since I recently just painted these, I just, I don't touch them. That stuff. So, yeah. Also, for, like, when it comes to full detailing, like the entire car, I get everything. Even these AC vents. And I do the same for the back right here. So, this is this how I detail my interior. And as far as vacuum go, I don't have to show y'all vacuuming because, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Cut your vacuum on and just vacuum. I mean, I'm just showing y'all parts that you should take. Like, obviously, you should vacuum. I'm showing y'all parts that people neglect to take care of when they are washing their car. So now, when you watch this video, you know exactly what to do. That's why I do this. So my interior comes out clean. Also, spray down your door. Um, yeah, spray down your door. This it won't mess up your um, this thing, like your your switches and everything. And it's still stuff on this towel. That's why I didn't spray it again. Get the entire door, and this is carpeted, so this ain't really gonna do much for it. Once you get done with everything, and I already did this, I was just showing y'all for the purpose of this video. Get some Rain-X, this right here, and wipe down your windows. 
get rid of them seat mounts. Also do the inside. Well, when you do the inside, don't spray it on your window. You put it on the top and wipe it down. So that's how I detail and take care of my car. I do this like every week, honestly, to be honest with you. I just like having a clean car. Because most of the time when I'm in my car, somebody's always taking a picture of it. So I always like to keep it clean so somebody has something to look at, you feel me? That's just how I am. Um, a few more tips. When you wax your car, most waxes can be applied after you wash it. But with this ceramic wax, you have to apply it during the wash. And since I already did, I'm not going to do it again. Because it lasts seven, eight months. But yeah, waxing your car is important because as you can see, when I wax my car, the water just bubbled right up and fell right off the paint. It's a protectant. It's good for your paint which brings out the shine that you see on my car now. And it takes care of your paint. Now with black cars, for example, like with my spoiler and everything, I put on black wax. So it brings out the, uh, it makes that black pop more. And I will put videos of my black charger in, in, in this own um, video. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's how I wash my 2015 Dodge Charger. Um, comment down below on some more videos y'all would like to see. If you have any questions regarding how I did it, what I did, more products that you can use, etc., etc. But yeah, with that being said, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I have more videos dropping this week. SRT Bree video part two. I'm sorry. Atlanta video part two with SRT Bree's Jeep in it. Cause a lot of people want to see that i uploaded it before but it got copyrighted due to the song that i had in my new intro so i re-edited that and i will be dropping it this week i also have a pov some reviews and of course me and all my brothers soldiers and more about my car club and more stuff like that but all of that's coming so make sure you like comment and subscribe i'm gonna leave all of that down in the description below, including my Instagram and Snapchat if you have more questions, which is why I've been getting them for. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, peace out.